afternoon's project is going to be digging out some soft soils and uh, getting ready to bring in some rock. So I don't know how well the camera's picking up all the ruts and stuff out there. I don't know the whole backstory either, but they're building a new, uh, got a new construction building here. I'm trying to see, I'm just supposed to kind of dig past it, but uh, new construction site. And I believe they brought in this clay, they dug out a pond or something in the front of the property and then tried to use the clay to build this pad, which as you can tell here in a minute, I'll get down past the rock. It's kind of a different color than what I normally work with. You can see, let's get it out here in the sun. It's kind of got a little more of like a tannish yellow to it so it's awesome clay for like building a pond and lining the bottom of a pond but it is terrible at trying to build either buildings or structures or driveways on because this was all covered in three inch rocks what they were telling me but by the time they ran that lift all over it it just pushes the rock down and brings the clay to the top and this is an area in town that just has tons and tons of ground. There's just no bottom in this area. So what I'm gonna do is start digging all this out, piling behind me. Dad's here with his loader. They're trying to get the uh, extension cord out of our way. And he's gonna start pushing this clay around the corner and we're just going to kind of put it on the side, side of the building and just kind of finish sloping the pad and such off and then I'm actually going to use GeoGrid and put that down I guess I'll put that down first and then uh, put riprap over it and then we'll just cover it all with three inch but probably got 35 to 40 loads is what I figured to dig out the building's 100 feet long and 50 feet wide so I'm gonna go like 110 I'm trying to go past it just a little bit and then it's almost 60 65 feet out to the edge of that driveway and I was gonna go down about 18 inches and we're gonna kind of do like we just did on the driveway job and just try to bridge over it seems fairly solid trying to dig with this bucket you know with this machine on tracks but you start running something heavy in here with tires and it just sinks and I guess they're the lumber for the inside of the building and then all the metal is supposed to get here at the end of the week and uh, starting Thursday <laughs> it's supposed to rain again to come in here with the 2150 and just start bailing out a big section and then hopefully by tomorrow uh, we can start getting some geo grid and some of the rip wrap that way if it does rain I can kind of work off that the rest of the week because this is one of those sites if you get off the rock uh, it's going to sink It's probably been so wet and saturated forever that it probably would eventually dry out and make a pretty good base, but like I said, it's just always kind of, I don't know, more silty or gumbo type, so it's awesome for like uh, ponds and such. 
I just thought this would work the best than trying to dig it all out with the loader because it's a little easier. To me, it's easier with the excavator. You're not wearing the tracks out. I mean, Dad's going to start moving and pushing it. But it's loose. You're not trying to cut and dig. I say he's going to start pushing it as soon as he gets off the phone, I guess. <laughs> kind of push it or dump it off the edge over there. He's always stuck running his truck, so I figured this may be a good job for him to uh, use the old loader that he got, get some hours on that.
Well, here's about, I don't know, maybe six hours later. I think it's 7, 7.30. <laughs> but we probably cut out, I don't know, 300 yards, maybe 30 loads. If that, it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's anywhere between 24 and 18 inches deep. It's more so there. Uh, I didn't cut more of that because those uh, framers were kind of concerned with their braces. And we're going to have concrete 20 feet out, I guess. And those are about 12 right now. So the concrete is still going to come out, but I may cut a little more of that out. What we may even do just to get it where they can put all the metal and stuff up for now is... Uh, go ahead and get our geo grid and our rip wrap in here tomorrow and then when we come back and they can take those down i gotta put the downspouts in but we may just bring the 260 and dig that down i don't know if i'll take it down 24 inches or not they can put the concrete thicker and bridge over it some more but we got the bulk of that mud out of here and then we got water groundwater coming in because we're almost got it cut down deeper than what that little ditch is over there and then I kept bailing it back, but Dad was having a hard time with the loader. Everything's just sticking in the bucket, and this stuff's nasty. <clears throat> so we kind of just spread some of it out over here and then just piled the rest of it up. We've got a mess around the <laughs> electric and everything else. They moved this line for me so we could drive through here, but then it was a pain so I had to watch the arm on that. But we kind of tried to fill some of this in and move what they're calling topsoil over there. So... At least tomorrow we can get back here. We're past the edge of the building. I need to cut a little bit of this out right here, but we'll just start laying the geo grid and then the rip wrap and just kind of dump it and work our way in where we can keep backing the trucks over. It's my plan. It moved a lot of dirt in a short amount of time, so I'm definitely liking the grading bucket. That's making a big, big difference. We'll pull the machine over here. We'll uh, get her greased up and parked for the night and be back in the morning. Well, we've made it back this morning. I got me a load of rip right there. I actually got almost 19 ton on there. <laughs> we've got a new uh, loader guy at the quarry. So I told them 15, 16. So I ended up with uh, 18 eights. <laughs> we'll work on that, but. Uh, and then dad stopped and got, we're gonna use Geo Grid, <clears throat> which is actually, this is smaller stuff I couldn't, such short notice in town we couldn't get like the big road fabric rolls but it's actually a little smaller this is the same thing we put on uh well the backs of retaining walls here but it'll work i think they're six feet long or wide and then 100 and 150 feet long yeah six foot wide but uh we'll put it down first i'm a little worried that the six inch is going to kind of maybe damage it but i feel like we'll just waste the rock if we don't lay it down and then put the six inch over it and then the three inch i'm not really 100 percent sure i think the builder is the one that kind of recommended this versus the fabric it may have been what we were able to get so i mean both of them work it's going to be kind of a ground stabilizer either way i haven't used i think i've had one other driveway where i've used this stuff so i don't use i don't use either one of them very often but i've used the fabric more but it's the same idea the uh the well which the riprap won't but the rock and stuff will actually go down through here and kind of hold this in place is the whole idea like behind the retaining walls that's the idea anyway it just stabilizes the ground and kind of the rock and the dirt just lock in on there so it should essentially work the same way and kind of keep the rock bridge over the top of all the mud and stuff here so and if not we'll try the fabric again next time but this is what we've got. We've got rain coming in tonight and tomorrow. So with our time frame, this is what we're gonna use. So we'll just start our rows here where we can just back the trucks up to the edge and just work our way in. It's the only thing I can do is I know we can't, there's no backing the truck off in there. We've already got water wicking in over there. So yeah, let's get this roll of fabric laid out, which of course it's windy, but we'll just uh, start rolling it out and working our way across there.
we are plugging away at this, so it's <laughs> just been like one of those days where the phone won't stop ringing, and then uh, I've actually had to stop and look at a couple of things that are kind of going to take priority. <laughs> so, and then the guy building the building said that uh, I guess there's going to be like a second floor inside that shop, so he's got all these floor trusses showing up in like 30 minutes. So we had to kind of build them a little ramp and then add a little more riprap to this corner so they can get that in there. Like, he acts like they're going to bring a, a semi or maybe like a big flatbed semi truck or whatever. So I think the trusses are 25 feet long. I think, I don't, they're floor trusses though. So I guess they don't look like a roofing, maybe just like a big beam. I don't know. So anyway, I've had to do that. And then I haul a little bit of rock. Dad hauls rock, and then uh, I go look at a job for the water company where they need trees mulched and cleared like ASAP. So maybe tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up the mulcher to go on the end of this, and then maybe Friday I'm trying to get there. So I'm hoping I can get all the six-inch stuff down today, and then maybe why I run up to Springfield tomorrow to get my mulcher. Not my mulch. This is the mulcher I'm renting. Just, I'll be clear. I'm not buying a mulcher. I did kind of make the joke to Miss Elite that I could just rent to own, and that <laughs> she gave me the your number one sign. So I don't think that uh, I don't think that meant to go ahead and get it. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if I get all this down, then Dad can still work on hauling the three-inch base over here. And he's got his letter here. He can start actually knocking some of it down. I'm just using this because it's a whole lot easier than trying to use his eight to spread this stuff out. Plus, his would seem like it was wanting to try to spin the tracks a little more. And this, these, this stuff will uh, cut up a set of tracks pretty good. and the builders already stopped by and they're just ecstatic with how it looks so he's already kept trying to load me up with some more stuff and want me to go if i can clean all that dirt up over there and cut a better ditch <laughs> this is actually a job i didn't plan on doing yesterday and today they were just kind of in a bind with the guy working on this building and the trusses showing up they were everything they were doing was getting stuck out here so like i I think I may have mentioned yesterday we're kind of I don't know not really like a holding pattern I guess but the Starbucks deal it's like we're supposed to start on it next week and they pushed it back by like two or three days so I was just had some little odds and end jobs some small one day jobs I was working on just so I wouldn't be you know writing something involved and they're like okay let's go to Starbucks Another load of rock.